You see, the face that's painted of illegal immigration always seems to be the college students, the clean-cut people, and I'm sure there are many people here that cross our borders, even illegally. We don't condone it, but we understand that people want to come here for a better life. You must do it the right way, but the face they always put on it is just people that want to come here to make a better life for themselves. If you live in Arizona and border states and other places across the country, we realize we can't tell the difference between the people that want to come here legally and or that want to come here and just better their lives and the people that would do us harm. Therefore, we must know who you are and why you're coming here. It's just simple as that. It's common sense. I want to introduce you to a colleague in the radio business. Was it 10 years you've had this radio show? Is that what it is? Yes, sir. 10 years on the air. Syndicated show. TerryAnderson.com. Please welcome Mr. Terry Anderson. Thank you, Arizona. Everything that you guys do benefits us and benefits the country, and you seem to always do it first. We thank you for that. Problem is this. We've got the world against us. We've got politicians against us on both sides of the aisle. We've got these rotten Rasa Nazis against us. We've got their rotten little jackpot babies who will vote against us. We've got everybody against us, the ACLU. And we've also got that bastion of American liberty, the Southern Poverty Law Center. But we will prevail because we are right. I'm going to keep this real short, folks. Two points I want to make to you, and I want you to remember these two points, it's important. We are under siege. We are under siege right now because everything we do is called something different. Everywhere we go, they say we're the wrong people, the wrong place, the wrong message, but we're not. The one thing we've got to remember is this. We've got Republicans beating us up on the right. A lot of people fought me when I talk bad about Republicans, but they stink just as much as the Democrats do. The Republicans are horrible now, not all of them, but most of them. McCain is rotten to the core, he stinks from the head down. But here's the one I want you to remember, folks, and you've got to keep pushing this one. When you hear them use the F word. Secure the border first. When you hear the F word, secure the border first, look out. You're going to hear it from O'Reilly. You're going to hear it from McCain. You're going to hear it from Krauthammer. You're going to hear it from Newt Gingrich. And you're going to hear it from that rotten Karl Rove. They are going to continue to tell you, well, as long as we secure the border, the American people will, quote, do the right thing. We don't want no damn amnesty. Every single time you hear that, you check them. When a politician tells you that he wants that border secured first, you let him know what he's full of. Loosely translated in Spanish, it would be caca de toro. My point is this, folks, we cannot allow that. My voice is a little funny because this heat is kicking my black behind. <laughs> let me say this to you. We've got to make sure that we get that point over to them. Don't let O'Reilly get away with it. Don't let Krauthammer get away with it. The right thing is to deport these people from our homes. Now, I'm hoping the media will pick this up and deliver this message. I've been on the air 10 years, folks, and I can't get that message to O'Reilly or Hannity. They, don't, they won't listen. The message is this. When the border is secured, we begin deportation. Yeah. Nothing harsh. Nothing against the rights of man or anything else. If you go to my website and read the 90-day immigration solution without confusion, you will find out that we can do it very simply. You make it where they cannot live here. They have no business here. You make it where they can't live here. You make it where they can't incarcerate, medicate, educate, and they will leave. And when, and when they leave, they will go home. And I want them to do that with all dignity, folks. I want them, nobody hurt, nobody harmed. But here's the thing. If they don't go home, we give them a 90-day amnesty. And at the end of day 91, you are a federal fugitive in this country. One year in prison the first time you're caught.
Five years a second, ten years a third. I guarantee you there'd be no, no five year sentences. Amnesty to get their affairs in order. Sell a house, get rid of the dog, do whatever you gotta do. But the point is, we have got to make the message here that you cannot stay in our country. So with the sound of applause, before I go, how many of you in the audience would be willing to amnesty all illegal aliens in this country if the border is secured? With the sound of, of applause, I want you to tell Bill O'Reilly and Krauthammer and Newt Gingrich and Carl Rove, once that border is secured, how many of you would be willing to deport every one of them that's breathing? To all you elitists, to all you elitist right wingers out there, there's your answer to the American people. That's my message, folks, and I'm gonna leave before I fall out from this heat. I want to introduce somebody now that I love very, very much. I would love to have her go to Congress, uh, maybe even be President of the United States, but I wouldn't do that to her because my love for her would not want her to catch any diseases from that human backwash that litters Washington, D.C.